Moving on from the cubic join, the next tool I'm going to teach you guys is called the virtual join. So the concept of virtual join is very different than cubic join because unlike cubic join, the virtual join relies more on the human to solve the problem rather than the computer. So the cubic join essentially takes um, information from three other markers to make the missing marker appear. So what do I mean by that? So let's say for this arm, uh, this red marker disappears, but it has three other markers around it. And if um, the concept of virtual join is essentially you take the you put these three markers into um, an algorithm, and from there the computer will calculate the where the red marker should be. So let's put that into practice. So let's take a a big gap. Let's say let's say this one, which I was at right now. So like before, like the cubic join, you highlight over the problem area, and then you press cubic join. Or in this case, we're gonna click virtual join. So once you click virtual join, this screen will pop up, and from here you need to select three markers: the origin marker, the long axis marker, or the, and the plane marker to put into an algorithm and that will fix the missing marker. So on the left here, you can see that this is called marker to join. Um, you can ignore this, like what this says, and just see this as this is the marker you want to make appear. So it's just to make it easier. Um, so let's fill this with three markers so the algorithm can start. So for the origin marker, the origin marker is basically like which one is the closest, which closest marker is to the marker you want to make appear. So um, in this, in our case, it's the head. So okay, so now the origin marker is here. The long axis marker, the com the computer thinks that the back of the head is the long axis marker. But as you can see, the back of the head is actually not there. So this is also the problem with cubic join. Once you click virtual join, um, if the, um, one or two things could should happen, or could happen. So one thing that could happen is the line will just, uh, or like the line will fix itself, like virtual jo like cubic join, sorry, and just like so. The computer did all the work for that. But most likely, most often than not, sorry, um, the second outcome will appear. Is that when you press virtual join, nothing will happen. And then this um, window will appear. So um, the reason why the first outcome could ever happen in the first place is because the markers that they placed in these boxes for origin marker, long axis marker, and plane marker was in the scene or was actually visible. But since the computer sees that the back of the head is not actually in the scene or is not visible on the character, the computer just says, oh no, one of the markers is not there. I can't fix this. So it pops up with the screen. So let's um let's fix that. So the long axis marker on the back of the head is not there. So let's replace it with something. So the long axis marker uh is the marker that's furthest away from the marker you wanted to make appear. So since the back of the head is not there, let's use the head, or oh, sorry, not the head, sorry, the spine. So let's click the spine. And as you can see here um, in the gap, you can see that the line is actually visible on the graph as well. So that's helpful. Okay, so now we have the long axis marker. Let's move on to the play marker. So the plane marker is the front of the head, and it seems like it's actually there, so we can use that. So once you have all these three markers, oh, sorry, I forgot to explain the plane marker. So the plane marker is just essentially what it says on the thing. It's like the marker that you want to appear has to be on the same plane uh, as the plane marker, so like this. Okay, so now that we know 
our lights. Now that we have all our markers ready, we can press Join Virtual. So once you click that, this should so the marker should appear. So that's Virtual Join. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of um, little tiny um, inconsistencies. We can fix that easily using the other tools. But for our purposes, this is what Virtual Join does.